Hi everyone! Welcome to Linda's Thrifty Life and welcome to Brian and Alicia's um, Fall Craft Collab. I'm so excited to be joining uh, them and the other participants that are listed below and in sharing some of our fall crafting with you. My name's Linda, if you're new to my channel, and I've been a YouTuber for a little over a year, and I have just started crafting really seriously, maybe in the last six months or so. So I am learning all the time, trying new things. So I'm a simple, basic, kind of clean crafter, <laughs> but I hope that, you know, something I share with you might inspire you. I chose a theme for this week as flat mail, with postage being so expensive anymore and some of us not even being able to get to the post office because of, um, you know, COVID-19 and having to be, you know, kind of quarantined in our homes. Um, that being able to send stuff from home and, and, and flat mail is really important. So these are what I've come up with, which I think would be pretty easy to do for um, swaps oh, for in mail. So the first thing I decided to make was a um, Memdex card. <clears throat> so I had really some really pretty fall paper and I cut out two pieces and glued the edges together, leaving a pocket at the top. You can see a little pocket at the top. I wanted to try to keep it really flat. Now I did a little bit of layering with some more paper and some stickers. There's a little, you know, glittery leaf. A little kitty cat. I like to put a kitty cat on sometimes on my crafts. I wear my little kitty cat ears. This is a wooden pumpkin, which I added a little sticker to that says autumn, and I added a little bow to it. So it gives it some dimension but it is also very flat and it is also very lightweight. So in the pocket, I got these on clearance last year. These were some place cards for a Thanksgiving dinner. And I like that it said, I am thankful for. And what you can do, you can open it up and that's where you can put all of your information that you exchange with your, um, with your partner and or someone that you're just sending friend mail to. And, um, and then it just slips right back in there like that, and it, it just adds to, I think, the, the look of this. Now, I chose to leave this back completely plain this time because I'm trying to keep this very, very flat and, um, and lightweight so that I could mail it off. Um, you could add all sorts of things. You could, um, these are so easy to do, and I think they're great fun. I love adding um, like flowers and I like these. These are kind of the little um, burlap flowers. And I, I took and I did some um, inking on that one. This is a sticker and this is just like I said, a little gold leaf. So that's what I made for the Memdex card. So my other, my bigger craft was I decided to make a pocket letter. I really like making pocket letters. It was one of the first crafting things I started doing when I got into crafting. So let me share the whole thing with you. I'm going to try to keep the glare off. It's kind of hard. I have to have lights on. My craft room is not very bright. So this is the whole pocket letter. I chose to do the nine pocket. So I'll bring it closer. I used two different kinds of paper, this pattern paper with all these words on it, blessed, thanksgiving, apple pie, turkey, cranberries, yummy, and I just liked the colors and I liked the pattern that it added, and then I just used plain orange with, with it. So this one I made a little, um, a little envelope, and there's a little acorn um, little tag in there. This one just says thankful with a sticker. This one has some ribbon on it and some stickers. This one is, you know, gobble, the turkey theme. And this says give thanks. And then there's an acorn and a leaf. That's sort of my theme. And that's harvest blessings. 
This one was layered up a little bit with some more sequiny things and just some interesting pieces of paper. This I used washi tape and stickers. And again, just some, some uh, it says Thanksgiving and some stickers. And there's my little kitty on this one. I then added washi tape to the side and I made a little tassel. And I used just three pieces of ri well ribbon and trim and I put it on a little um, pin to, to um, pin onto the edge and I added this little button that I have in my stash. I think it's really cute. It is probably the most dimensional thing but I think that it will go really well with the flat mail. So because I'm wanting to keep this pretty flat I added all of my goodies to the back and not going to be a separate. So let's see what I added. So I made a little sequin mix. There's also a wood pumpkin in there. These are some little playing cards that they're a match game that I got from Dollar Tree and they were fall and I just thought these images were so cute and there's several of them in here and they could be used. Oh, there's football because you know some people love their fall football. <laughs> and uh, let's see that and the tractor and I think there's a turkey and some other things. So they could be used just in a in a um, <clears throat> pocket letter or you could fussy cut them out and use them. These are some pretty um, orange embellishments. Here's some ribbon that was used in the pocket letter. Here's some uh, little pieces of paper and some stickers. These could be used um, for somebody's crafting. And these are some pumpkins. Um, pumpkin um, stickers that I used on the front. Then I took two little mini file folders and in this one I have the, um, the cute acorn bling and there's some inside there and on here and this one has the leaf bling and it's out here and then there's some for them to use inside. This center pocket includes my tag and when I take it out you could then put all of your information on the back and when it's in the pocket the tag part oops, makes the bow on the other side that was shit that you could see on the other side so I really like the way this turned out and it's very very flat but I think it has a lot of fun on it and I think that the um, the things you would send so I would fold it up if I was to mail and I would swing my tassel around like this and you can see just how get my tassel up here you can see how flat it would be and what I would do is wrap this in a piece of tissue to keep it all together and keep it flat and put it in an envelope it might have to be a little bigger than just your standard envelope but you can weigh it and if it's flat enough and um, small enough then you can just use it with you can send it with stamps so I hope that that you know maybe inspired you a little bit I, I'm really happy with how it turned out um, I do like to use a lot more dimensional things in pocket letters too but they're harder to mail and you usually need to mail them flat and that costs a lot more money so I hope that you know, maybe some of what I've shared today will inspire you to do some flat mail. So um, be sure to check out all of the other um, participants below. I'm excited to see what everyone is sharing. It's always fun to do collabs because everybody has such different ideas. We were um, both Sundays that we're doing this. We were given um, <clears throat> our choice of what to make. So I will see you, I hope, next Sunday, and I will share another fall, collab, um, fall craft with you. So thank you so much for joining us, and I will see you soon. Bye now.